Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Brother West. This is Brother West coming to you again uh, this Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I uh, I was um wasn't gonna come on. wasn't gonna come on, but um been led to come on. Been led to come on and uh, with a direct word uh, for somebody. I, I know it's for somebody. And, and that direct word is that direct word is um, show mercy. Show mercy. And I say that because you are in a position, you're in a position where you must extend, you must extend. Oftentimes, when, 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 as, 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 as people, when, when someone is vulnerable, uh, uh, vulnerable around you and, 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 and you have the ability to either destroy them or help build them or help love them. Oftentimes you have to we have to be careful because a lot of times our our thoughts, a lot of times our words, a lot of times our ways can become a stumbling block or it can be uh, serve as a, a a a wrench or something that will cause division. And what I mean by that is the thing about it that we must be careful of as as believers. And as people, uh, especially when it comes to being offended, when it comes to being hurt, when it comes to being betrayed or whatever it is, after the betrayal, it's very important how we respond. It is very important how we respond because if you're not careful and if you allow the sun to go down on your wrath, the, the, the act or the issue that was committed against you, your response, your response, uh, if it's wrong, you'll be just as guilty. The scripture says, uh, when you see your brother overtaken in a fault, said that when you see him, he's dealing with something, he's going through something, but whatever it is that he or she, you can see she or whoever is going through, it has overtaken them, that issue, that fault. And see, oftentimes uh, people um, uh, make mistakes. When you make a mistake as a believer, oftentimes the shame will cause that person uh, not to ask God for forgiveness. It will cause that person to cover up. That's, that's, that's the idemic nature. Oftentimes when we mess up or when we sin, when we sin before God, Instead of going to him, instead of going to him and facing him because he's God, instead we'll hide. But not only we'll hide, but we'll cover it up. And so, and that's the danger. That's the danger. That's the danger when something happens to you. That's the danger uh, when you feel uh, when you feel like someone has done something to you, and you're believing you hadn't done nothing wrong. You have to be. You have to check. You have to check your actions. Because the scripture says that when you see that person overtaken in that fault, consider yourself him that is spiritual. Consider yourself. And so in other words, uh, God is saying you got to check your spirit. You got to check your motives. You got you to gotta check it. You, you got to check your motive on why, you, why, why you're going. On, on what you're going to say, what you're going to do. Because your motive and your spirit will determine whether that person will be restored or where that person will be pushed farther and farther in that situation. The scripture says that to him that knows to do right, but don't do it. You know to do right, but you don't do it. To him it is sin. And so there, there are two types of sin. There's the sin that there's the sin that you act, the act, the transgression. But also there's the sin that you keep in your mind. That you keep in your mind and that you keep in your heart, that you bury it. That you bury it and you don't do what God called you to do. That's disobedience. When God tells you to do something, but you don't do it, then what that what happens? What happens in that case? Now, you you and you and this you and you and you in the uh, the arena of disobedience. And the scripture says, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So when you when you buck and when you diso when you disobey God's word, what you're doing, you're removing His hedge. You're removing His protection. You're removing his grace. When you buck, when God is telling you no, but when you go beyond the no, 
And you just want to do what you want to do because you feel it. You feel this way. And so and that's another thing. Be careful of mistaking your spirit for the voice of God. Be careful. Be careful. Because a lot of times people want something so bad. They will want something so bad that they would they would they would they would want it so bad that they would think it so. They would think it so. And, and then they will push beyond God. And, and then they'll be operating witchcraft. When you're doing stuff from emotions, when you're doing stuff from anger, when you're doing stuff to, uh, uh, to, for revenge, your motive is witchcraft, especially when you done disobeyed God and, and now you done disobeyed God, but now you keep trying to do certain things to make people think that you in God, but God done removed his candlestick. And so we need to listen to God. They're just like, they're just like when you run, when you run, like when you run long distance, when you run long distance, now, you know, and oftentimes when you get a light cramp in your side, usually that first cramp, okay, okay, that usually that first cramp goes away. But while you're running, if you get another cramp, then usually that says there's danger, meaning that something's going to happen. You're going to break down, something's going to happen to your body. And so it's the same thing with God. When you've been running, when you've been running, when you're running, but then your body begin to break down or your body begin to tell you certain things. Your, your body begin to tell you to stop. Your body be, be, begin to tell you to, okay, stop and take care of this. Stop and take care of that. Stop and take care of this. Stop and take care of that. And if, if, if you don't do that, then it's going to break down. It's going to break down. That's like having a car. If you don't do maintenance on that car, if you don't take care of the car, if you don't do the proper maintenance on that car, then eventually that car is going to break down. If you don't change the oil every 3,000, every 5,000, change the spark plugs based on the, 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 the car manual, if you don't do what the car manual says, then the chances are your car is going to break down. But if you follow the instructions and, and do what the manual said, do uh, what it takes to make sure that your car is in top tip, uh, tip top shape, then your car will run a long time. I said, I know that I know that to be a fact because I've had two cars, and the two cars I've had, they, they've had over three thousand miles on it. And so it's it's about it's about uh, following the instructions and taking care of what God has given you. And that's the same thing with our body, with our mind, with our spirit, with our heart. Is to take it is is to take care of. What God has given us, the scripture said God has given every man the measure of faith. The measure of faith and the way your faith grows is by hearing the word of God. And then that faith being tried, being tried by, by persecution, being tried by fire, being tried by the enemy. And that's what makes your faith grow because faith is a gift. And see, if you don't lose, if you don't use that faith, if you don't use it, that faith then will be considered dead. Just like with love. If you don't use that love, that love will turn to hate. Anything that God has given you, anything that God has given you, will require by God to protect it and to take care of it. Because, because, because if we don't protect it and don't take care of it, then when, 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 when God comes back, when he comes back, when he comes back, or when that situation comes back, when that, when that time comes back, when a certain thing must be done, then we will be punished or rewarded for what we did do or what we did not do. The scripture says, uh, be not deceived. God is not marked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that will he also reap. So in other words, everything we do, everything we do, everything we say, how we treat people, how we walk, how we talk, it's all seed form. Because even the scripture says, not what goes in the mouth that defiles man, but what comes out. But also, we have to give him the deed for the deeds that are done in our body. And, and so it, it, it's seed in the harvest. The scripture says, even in Genesis, uh, uh, there's things that will always remain. That That's the seasons, uh, seed time and harvest. And so that means that as people, we must be careful how we treat each other. We must be careful how we treat our brothers. We must be careful how we treat our sisters because oftentimes, oftentimes, the, 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 the warfare that we face we think it's the devil, but oftentimes it's not the devil. It's just those seeds that's come to harvest that we planted. That we was mean, that we was evil, that we forgot about, that we didn't ask God to forgive us from. 
And so, and so be careful, be careful, be careful. Because you, you think, see, because sometimes you, you think it's the devil. You think it's a trial and a tribulation. It, it might be a tribulation. It might be a trial, but it was self-induced. But God is so, God is so merciful. Let me tell you, God is so merciful and God is so kind and, and God is so sovereign that the scripture said, the scripture said, God said, say not any man, any man, God tip any man. But everyone is tempted when they are drawn away in their own lust and enticement. And so if you in a situation where you need God, uh, your lust or your, your flesh drew you in that situation. But even though your lust or your flesh drew you in that situation, God can bring you out. Because this one, God says, my grace is sufficient. And so in, a, in other words, when you are weak, that's when God is strong. You need to know when, you, when you're weak, when you feel like giving up, when you feel like throwing in a towel, that's when God, that's when God is strong. And so God is waiting. He's right there waiting on you to call him. In any kind of situation that you need him, he wants you to call him. See, you, you, see what it is, you one word away. You one call away. <coughs> you one breath away from your healing. You one breath away from your breakthrough. And some of you, you're asking God, God, deliver me. God, make things right in my life. God, fix some things in my life, God, that, that, that's messed up. God renew some things. God, God created me a clean heart and God renew within me a right spirit, God. And so in a minute you're praying for change. God, God changed this. God changed this situation. God changed my environment. See, but the, see, but the God is saying, you're in, you, you speak it. You speak it. God said, if you decree a thing, I, if you, if you hasten, if you decree, decree a thing, I am going to hasten. So in other words, God is going to speed up your decree. God is going to speed up your request. When you walk with God, when you listen to God, and when you're obedient, when you're in obedience to him, when you in obedience to him, when you decree something, God is going to speed up. God is going to speed it up that it happen. God is going to speed it up that it come to pass. You need to know that the vision is for an appointed time. And in the end, it's going to speak in that life. So that vision is what God has promised you. It doesn't matter what God promised you. It will happen. Oftentimes, it doesn't happen because you give up. Oftentimes, many people, they, they fail because they fail. They fail God. They fail the promise. They fail what they believe in God for because they gave up at the end. Because you need to know that your breakthrough and your healing, your breakthrough, your blessing, your promise, that new day, that breaking, all of that, it happens. It happens. The, the portals of it is when everything in your life become the, the worst it can ever, it, worst it can ever get. And in life, when things become the worst that they can ever get, if, if you can overcome it, if you if you can overcome the fight, if you can overcome the pain, if you can outlast that situation and stand, your victory is in the end. Your victory lies on the on the other side of your test. Your, your breakthrough lies on the other side of your test. But you must you must go through and you must deal with uh, that magnetic field, that 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 feel that that when it's transforming from that from 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 Earth to space, where there's a certain period of time, there's a certain heat, and, and there's a certain temperature uh, uh, that when, when there's a spaceship that's going through that, that that spaceship has to be prepared. That spaceship temperature has to be right, and, and because if that spaceship temperature is right, then they're able to come through. They're able to get through that situation. They're able to get through that 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 layer, that layer of fire. That layer of that magnetic field or whatever it is. And so, but if, if it wasn't prepared, if the ship wasn't prepared, it will burn up in the fight. It will burn up in the fire. And the same thing right now, right now, right now, God has already prepared you. God has prepared, God, you already got the right stuff. You already got the right stuff. The only way, only way you, but you can tear down and you can remove the right stuff. And the way that you remove that right stuff is by doubting God. It's about doubting God, about not having faith in God. Did you not know without faith, you can't please God? Without faith, you cannot have a conversation with God. God will not talk to you without faith. God will not have a conversation with, with you without faith. See, faith moves God. Faith moves God. Faith gets God's attention because God is faith. God gave the faith. It's a gift from him. It's a connection to him. It's the lifeline to him. It's the lifeline to your blessing. It's the lifeline to your breakthrough when you, when you have faith. When you hold on to faith, when you keep trusting in faith, because the scriptures say faith is substance of things hoped for. And so there's substance in your faith and evident of things not seen. It's evident. It's evident that's going to happen. It's evident that's going to come to pass, but you got to hold on and you got to have that expectation, that hope. 
that blessed hope. You got to keep hoping. You got to keep believing. Is that all right? Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. God, for this is the day that you made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it, God. God, I thank you for your goodness. God, open our eyes up. God, teach us. Teach them how to forgive. God, teach them how to show mercy. God, teach them how to show love. God, because the scripture said, blessed are the merciful, for they shall see God. And so, God, we thank you for your mercy that you've extended to us. And God, in that same mercy that you extended to us, those that are listening to me this day, that, that's got a problem, that had an issue with letting go, that had an issue with forgiving, God, they're letting go right now. God, they're getting the strength to do it now, God. God, you're touching their heart right now. God, you're touching their heart. Where their heart was stony, God. Where their heart was hard. God, you're softening it up now, now God. You're softening it up. God, you're talking to their heart. You're talking to his heart. God, you're talking to her heart. You're talking to their heart. God, you're making things right. God, you're removing. God, you're, you're, God, you're renewing. God, you're bonding. God, you're mending. God, you're doing a new thing. God, you're bringing together. God, you're bringing joy back. God, you're bringing happiness back. God, you're bringing peace back. God, you're bringing love back for your glory. In Jesus' name, God, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you.